Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Okay. It's a good day. Hope we had a beautiful day. Okay. So this is welcome to Real Estate Matters with the Lady Billionaire Realtor. Okay. So um. Okay. Um, okay, once again, welcome to the uh, Real Estate Matters with the Lady Billionaire Realtor where we share information about real estate so that you out there can have an informed decision when you want to invest. Oh, thank you, Nancy Fashion Store for joining. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Okay. Um, we started off um, a series on last Tuesday. Uh, because this um, section comes up every Tuesday. Um, Jim Harry Realty Limited, thank you for joining us. Um, comes up every Tuesday, 7 p.m., where we, you know, talk about real estate matters generally, and we pick, um, you know, topics from all spheres of real estate, and we discuss so that you out there will have an informed decision when you are looking at investing in real estate. Thank you, Barista Manta, for joining. Thank you, thank you. Amina Patsy for joining. Thank you, I am Harold for joining. Thank you all, thumbs up, yeah. Okay, and so today, last week we talked about the step-by-step -step, um, guide to investing in real estate, both for new investors and um, existing investors. Okay, and so we had a lot of um, uh, feedback on that um, uh, session. A lot of people came up with more questions. Well, not on the live video, and uh, we're available to answer all the questions. And so today, I will be talking about winning real estate investment strategies okay for every spare of life you know there has to be a strategy you know to go into anything you want to do in life for instance even if you're a student you know you must have your strategy well planned out to be able to come out in flying colors you know like taking time out to read when you're meant to read after lectures you study you don't wait until when it's the exam time you know before you start studying you might not be able to perform excellently well and so that is how it is we real estate you know even if you're not ready to buy now it is important for you to begin to soak in information on real estate so that by the time you are ready to buy you know like we discussed last week you don't rush into it and make a wrong decision and so that's why we're bringing this real estate matters with the lady billionaire realtor so we'll be picking different uh, aspects of real estate and that will help us make an informed decision thank you Rita Okoye thank you for joining us welcome to real estate matters with the Lady Billionaire Realtor. And so today we'll be talking about um, winning real estate investment strategy. Okay, to win in real estate, there are certain, you know, strategies that you must, you know, follow through. You must look out for, you know, to be able to win in real estate. And without further ado, I'm going to just start right away. Okay. Uh, investing in real estate uh, in the real estate market is an excellent alternative, you know, unlike other forms of investment like stocks. You know, stocks is volatile. You know, you are not in control of it. You know, a policy can come up. Okay, just like what happened um, when Facebook, Instagram and whatsapp just went off they had a technical problem and you could see that that affected you know their shares their shares went down you know but real estate is not you know it's not dependent on you know policy or any you know economic 
law or anything that happens because it is tangible so it is less volatile okay unlike you know stocks crypto <laughs> we remember during the time you know it was all over it should show me that how crypto came bitcoin came down and a lot of people were you know where had lost money but real estate is not like that it is less volatile okay and so one of the strategies uh, to win in real estate is to segment your portfolio. Okay, segment your portfolio. Okay, investing in real estate don't it you know you don't see your your don't see it as just you know somewhere you okay let's say for instance a lot of people um, just put their money okay I have money now let me just go into real estate. You know, and just put the money there. You must see real estate investment as a business. You know, you must see it as something you're putting, uh, you're putting in money, and there has to be return on that investment. Okay, so segment your portfolio. Okay, for instance, the whole idea is if you are buying. Um, for instance, just land. You can decide to buy um, rental properties. You can decide to buy. That's when you buy rental properties. I mean, you want to put it up for rent, or you want to use it for short lengths. You can decide to buy um, off-plan property and resell. So yeah, you know, putting it, putting your investment in different aspects of. You know real estate you don't just say okay ah no it's only land that i'll be buying so you segment your um your real estate portfolio and the whole idea is you know you're structuring your investment and you could decide that okay now i am thank you thank you christian for joining thank you thank you Okay, this is Real Estate Matters with the late billionaire realtor, and we are looking at winning real estate investment strategies. Okay, so I started off with my first point, segment your real, your real estate investment portfolio. Don't just buy only landed properties. Okay, for instance, don't just buy only land in Ekpe, or don't just buy only land in Ibejuleki, and just you know sit down and be waiting you can buy land in a pair you buy in Ibejuleki. you can buy rental income properties you can buy for flipping purposes you buy when the project starts and you dis you sell once the project is ready you know at different stage like last week i mentioned that when you are going into real estate, you must determine if it's a short-term investment or a long-term investment. And you can segment it such that, for instance, all your bills, okay, your bills, for instance, you're looking at retirement, you're looking at, okay, this uh, particular investment is going to take care of children fees. <laughs> okay, this particular um, investment is going to take care of loan repayment you know you just segment it different uh, investment for different um projects okay so when you do that as uh, a real estate investor you would win big you know like i mentioned earlier don't just go to a pair and just buy land and your money is just there we understand that a pair is a long-term project and so if you do not understand, okay, if for instance, like recently, um, a client of mine contacted me and um, he bought land in Ibejuleki last year, just last year. And he contacted me that he wants to sell the land because he is in need of money. Like I will always say, thank you, Mr. Joe, thank you, thank you, Osanze, thank you, thank you. Okay, he said he wanted, he needed some money and he needed to sell. And the truth is, like I will always tell my clients, 
Ibeduleki and Ekpe is not a short-term investment. Okay, it is not a short-term investment. It is a long-term investment because it is a growing city. It is a new suburb. They are setting things that will happen in Ibeduleki and Ekpe that your property will begin to appreciate. And so it is not, you cannot buy a property in Ibeduleki or Ekpe now. And in the next six months or in the next one year, you want to sell. That might be very difficult. It will not be easy to sell because, number one, though the price would have changed, but the truth is you might not be able to get that resellable value if those um, you know, economic drivers are not functional. And so I told him that, okay, I'm just going to try and see how to push this. But the truth is, you might not be able to sell this property because it is a long-term investment. And so, for instance, you're looking at, you know, I said segment your real estate portfolio. So instead of, for instance, you have a certain amount of money and you have a project or, you know, there's going to be a need maybe in six months time or in one year time, then you should not put that money in a long-term investment. You should look for a short-term real estate investment where you can put that money. And by the time you are ready to, you know, to go along with that project, you know, that money can, you know, be available for you to use. Like for instance, we did um, the buyback promo in one of our estates. It was a buy, it was Ibejuleki, but it was a buyback promo. And so a lot of our clients um, bought into it. And it was a six month buyback. So for instance, you know, you put that money there as a buyback. And it, it, some of them have started collecting um, their return on investment. They make about 1.5 million naira within six months. And so because you have segmented your portfolio, you know that this money, okay, by the time I collect it, I want to use it to repay a loan or I want to use it to, you know, sponsor a project or something. So it is very good to win in real estate, segment your portfolio. Before you put in money into any investment, decide if you are going, you're willing to wait for a long term or a short term. Um, you want to get your money quickly, then you will be looking at you know, putting it in short-term investment. Okay, essentially, this strategy is designed to help you solve problems in a well-defined manner, okay? In this case, you have real estate investment for every bill, both present and future. Now, a lot of people go into real estate investment for different reasons and ultimately to make profit because you cannot just say, oh, because I have too much money let me just be throwing it away it ultimately is to make profit either you're looking at profiting now that's short-term investment or you're looking at you know that investment taking care of um something in the future okay so segment your portfolio um when you're to win in real estate okay number two strategy of to win is don't marry your investments Okay, Raymond Hill said, who said, all marriages are happy. It is the living together afterwards that causes all the trouble. We can agree that, you know, when couples get married, they are all excited, you know, everybody is, you know, happy married life. But when they begin to live together, they begin to see things that they didn't see while they were dating. Okay, it is normal. Okay, so don't marry your investment. What I mean by this is, for instance, you buy a short-term investment and the market is good. You know, for um, a client of ours um, who bought a property, I think I mentioned it last week, he bought a property in Asaba in April. And he just sold it um, last month which is october 
within a space of time because he got a good offer. He would have said, I think ah, this offer that I am getting, he got a very good offer. This offer that I just got, maybe I should wait. Maybe if I wait some more, I will make more money. You know, the fact that he, had, he, he got something tangible, it is the best time to sell because he actually bought it as a short-term investment to resell within a short time and he made a lot of money. And so as a real estate investor to, to, to win in real estate, when you buy a short-term investment, don't marry your investment. It is a business. You are in, in you, you entered into that investment for profit making. And so when the figures are right, you sell. Don't hold on to it and begin to wait because like recently a, a client was supposed to sell a house in Benin. Okay, the client is in the diaspora in Canada, one of my clients. And so people were giving him offers and he was like, I think, you know, he put the house at a particular figure and he got that offer. He got the offer quickly. You know, just when he put the property into the in the market and people started offering, and he was like, Ah, if these people are offering me this money, maybe I should take it a notch higher. And he didn't sell. Okay. Eventually, he has not been able to sell that property up until now. So what happened was he was holding on to the property and you know was not willing to let go. He was holding on to the property. So at the time he was meant to sell, he didn't sell. And, you know, now he's still waiting for the right buyer. At the time the right buyer came, he wasn't ready. And so the right buyer went to somebody else that was ready to sell. So to win in real estate, especially a short-term investment, if the figures are right, don't hold on to it. You sell and, you know, make your profit and move on to the next investment. Okay. So um, we've talked about um, segment your real estate investment. Don't marry your investment, especially when it's a short-term investment. If you see that there's profit in it, don't wait. Just put it out and get your um, return on investment. Definitely for real estate, it's, it's very hard for you to sell below what you bought it's always on the increase the except for instance like the the client who who bought into it but you like it just december december last year december january last year and wants to sell and you know he bought a long-term investment not even a short-term investment for a long-term investment you have to wait patience is key and most time long-term investment pays off because you buy the property you know, the properties are usually very affordable and when you want to sell, you, you sell almost, you know, the, 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 the um, what's it called? The ROI is usually, you know, by the time people start telling you, it's just like um, my former boss uh, where I worked, that was as of 2009, when he bought um, his land in Royal Gardens, Pinock Beach was selling for $15 million. You know, but at that time, 2009, you know that from the only major places you get to is Mobile, then you get to VGC, most of the places around were still scanty. Chevron, those were the popular places. So even Osaka, that's Pinot Beach was like, oh, go and live there. And you know, it was kind of mushy. And so he didn't buy, but you know, if you look at it in the long time, 2009, that's like about um, um, 12, 13 years. Okay, so now people are selling land in Pinot Beach Estate for 280 million, 300 million. Okay, so that's a long term investment. Even though the price was 15, sold 15 million from um, 11, um, 12 years ago. But the current price is about 300 million, 280 million there. So that's a long term investment. So you, if you check the, um, if you do the mass, the return on investment is over 1,000. And so most times, long term investment, they pay over the years. Um, it's just uh, another example is um, 
one of uh, my mentors, she's a coach. Uh, in front of April, she told us during uh, one of our conferences how her father bought, you know, a large hectares of land around Ijego. Um, Ijego is in around Festac. You have a lot of tank farm there. At the time, her father bought that land. That was in the 80s. So you can imagine somebody who bought hectares of land in the 80s in Ijego. He bought it for very meager sum. They sold in 2018 and the money ran into billions. So that's long-term investment for you. So you cannot buy a long-term investment and you know you just want to sell now. No, that's not what, when we say don't marry your investment. We are not referring to a long-term investment. I'm referring to a short-term investment. Okay, just like the example of the client who bought a property in April, he bought a, you know, and most times short-term investment, they don't come cheap because they are in urban areas. Everything is already working in their favor. So he bought that property in April and he sold last month at a very good price. He would have, the other person held on to, you know, to the project and is finding it difficult to sell now. Okay, so let's move on. Buy what you understand understand what you buy okay the truth is you know a lot of uh projects are brandished at clients and sometimes some clients don't even understand the projects thank you harry thank you mimi thank you thank you for joining okay so understand the projects before you buy you know Sometimes people, you know, just because of emotional uh, connection with certain people, they don't ask the right questions. And so they don't even understand what they are buying. And at the end of the day, you know, it seems like a wrong investment. You must understand what you are buying understand it and how do you get understanding is asking questions okay for instance out there are certain properties lands that we sell you know and some people just think that oh i should i can start building now in my land that i bought for you know five million because the truth is the prices of land is on the increase so if you get a land of five million you might not be able to do anything there land that is worth around five million seven point five million you might not be able to do anything there if you are looking at okay i want to start building you'll be thinking about let's say 30 million 15 million you know so when you want to buy certain type of land and you say oh i want to ready to build land and you do not ask the questions okay what is the development timeline for this estate when will the infrastructures be in place because yes the land is ready to build but what is the development timeline the company might have a different you know timeline in their mind most companies give like two years and so if you do not know you say, okay, ah, this realtors has advertised this land. I think it's looking good, you know, based on the sugar coating that would, <laughs> that would have gone into, you know, the sales pitch. Okay. And you do not understand and you just buy and you discover that after you have bought, you cannot move to site. The, you know, the access to the, the, the road to the estate itself is not accessible. You cannot drive the trucks that want to bring your son cannot get to your land. And so you must understand, you know, every project that is brought before you before you buy. In doing that, you will be able to save yourself, you know, the stress. If, for instance, they say, okay, like for instance, some of the properties we are selling, like the apartment in Shongo Tedo, the company has said this project. The first set of those projects will be delivered 
December 2022. Okay, let's say for instance, a client do not ask all the necessary questions and the client just buys like, okay, ah, they said the house will be ready in 2022. So 2022, my main in his mind, by first quarter of 2022, it should be ready. So I should be getting ready to move into my house. So you must understand, you know, before you buy, because you have worked so hard for your money and you cannot afford to, you know, go into um, something that you do not understand. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all for joining a live video. Thank you for joining Real Estate masters with the lady billionaire so we are talking about winning real estate investment strategies okay that you as an investor have to you know consider when you to win in real estate to win it really big and we started off by saying segment your real estate uh, portfolio don't just focus on only one particular aspect of real estate explore rental income properties long-term um, um, land, off-plan houses, buy and sell, buy and hold for a while. You know, you segment your portfolio, tie every of your investments to projects. Okay, that's where you would know if you're doing well with your real estate investment. Okay, so let's go on. I said, make sure you understand what you buy. Don't just buy, you know, because of emotion. Don't just buy because the person is your family member. Don't just buy because you, you just want to patronize the person because you have worked so hard for your money. Whatever you put your money, it has to be worth it. Understand it, okay? Okay, so make sure you understand the real estate investment project you're thinking of buying. Get all the facts and the background, you know, of the company the company that is you know that this real toys what's who are they what are people saying about them you know what is their records over time you know there are a lot of companies we have so many real estate uh, companies in the market now especially in this lucky axis and I must tell you of this truth, we have been in this um, system for a while now. A lot of them are just in there for the money. That is the truth. A lot of them are just there. They just take the investor's money and, you know, they don't, you don't see any development happening in the estate. Nothing, you're not hearing anything. You know, they just go, once you, you give them your money, they just go down and nothing is happening. And so before you buy any property, you know, you must check the background of that real estate company. You must check if they have a strong base, financial base, because the truth is, if for instance anything happens, Will they be able to stand, you know, and compensate the client? Because the truth is, things might happen. Things might happen because we are, you know, we are in an unpredicted world. But if the real estate company that you have put your money, they are not, they don't have a very strong financial backing you would end up, you know, losing your investment. So apart from understanding what you buy, you must, you know, get information about the company that is behind that project that the realtor is, you know, putting before you because a lot of people have lost money. We hear a lot of, you know, most time when clients contact us, especially clients from the diaspora, they begin to tell you their experiences how the bots here and see what has happened in fact one of my clients now he mentioned about three companies he bought he said they have refused to do a location almost three years now and the property has appreciated in fact what the company uh, was doing was they were deducting charges 
And so as they were deducting charges, let's say for instance, initially when they bought, it was 600 square meters. So while they were deducting charges, the land was reducing. So don't just, you know, go into any investment without, you know, understand, apart from understanding the project, if it's a long-term or short-term investment, the company behind that project, do your own, you know, assignment. Go and do your own assignment. Okay, so um, I think yesterday I just, um, I, 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 I closed the sale. Two properties, my, one of my clients both. We have talked, I have gone to the site and, you know, giving him all, everything that I need to give him that he needs. And he has made up his mind to buy the property. In fact, he has paid. He has paid about 50% on the two properties. But he, they said, in fact, that he trusts me as his realtor. He reached out to the company, you know, to get other information, to see that, okay, what Mercy has told me is what the company is telling me. You know, so don't just, he went, you know, online to check out the company because he's not in Nigeria. He checked and he came back to me and he said, ah, Mercy, I called though. You know, gave me all the details, you know. He said he pretended as if he has not even heard about the project. Meanwhile, he, he already filled his. He already had the subscription for it. He had even made the payment because he didn't, he made the payment on Friday. He didn't want the, you know, because the price is about to be reviewed upward. So he didn't want the, uh, what's it called now? The, the price, let's say by Monday, that was yesterday. He didn't want any excuse. Let's say then I will not tell him that, ah, so they have increased the price. So he just paid a certain amount on Friday to lock in the price. Remember one of my videos on off plan, it wasn't a live uh, video. And so he went behind to do his due diligence, checked out the company, checked out their project, checked out what they've done before. So as you know, to win in real estate, you have to do all that you, so that you can have a proper understanding of what you are doing. Of course, yes, you need your realtor. You know, the realtor, because the location where he's buying, he wants to use the property for short let. And so he told me, please, Mercy, I need this property in this, you know, a kind of a location that is perfect for short let. And I got it for him. That's the fact that I got the location and the price was also good. He still had to do his own due diligence. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you, Abuja Elpada. Thank you, uh, Queen's Furnishing. Thank you. Thank you, Finishing. Thank you. Okay, so... In order to understand what you're buying, you also have to do your due diligence. Don't leave it to your realtor alone because at the end of the day, some realtors are more concerned about their commission. They are not concerned about the client investment. So you must understand. And how do you understand the company that is you know, behind that project that your realtor is recommending to you Go and look at them, check them out, see what people are saying about them, see what project they have done, check out their financial standing, and then you can decide to go into that investment. It tells you that when you go into that investment, you would eventually win. Okay, so let's go further. Okay, so number four, like I said, I was mentioning, um, get the right amount of information don't just buy whatever you see. Get information. The location of the property, where it is located. You know, in our last Tuesday uh, live session, we talked about if you're looking at a rental income property, you have to be sure that the area is a low crime area you don't have a lot of crime there what kind of amenities are in the place is the road accessible you know get the right information because it is your hard earned money you need those information to be able you know 
to make the right decision so that your investment don't go down the drain okay so look out for signs of value from the real estate company okay like i mentioned earlier the financial standing of that company it matters a great deal okay it matters a great deal you know um at times especially for land investment but now uh, we don't have that happening except when you buy um, a session in progress property and i always advise my clients to always you know buy property that has at least a session because when a property has a session the government is the one that has a size that property that's a um, parcel of land to the family and the company would have bought from you know the family okay so for instance some companies uh when there's a, a problem with that um property they reassign um clients to another estate but for a company who do not have the financial backing that's when you will hear that the jackpot their office has moved is that see they actually want to run away but because they do not have the financial backing they are just in there oh everybody is doing real estate let's go into real estate and make money you okay so watch out for you know the value you know assess their financial stance the financial stand of the company check out what they are doing what do they have on ground in case of um any eventuality can they you know would they be able to compensate um investors you must look out for um all that you know to to win in real estate okay and so that's um that's all that uh, we have for winning in real estate investment so if we have any questions i will take questions now I will take questions now. I've said a number of things. Um, segment your real estate investment. Don't put all your your um, your money into one sector, and you know you leave the others. Let if you're a starter, you know it makes a lot of sense. But if you're a regular investor. It is wise to segment your portfolio, spread it across all sectors. You know, buy rental income properties, buy off-land properties, and buy properties and sell. You can buy um, properties that are near completion, and you know, by the time they are ready, you put your mark and you sell. Don't marry your investment, especially when you when you buy a short-term investment. Don't hold on to it. Okay, when it is time. For to sell if the price is good if the offer is good you take it okay and we also said understand what you buy in fact the truth is if you don't understand it is better not to buy before you make that buying uh, decision make sure you understand it you know assess the value of the company behind every real estate investment you buy check out their financial um um capacity check out what they have done before what are people saying about them are they reputable do they deliver on schedule you know you have to put all that into consideration then get information information of the location what is the delivery timeline you know you need all those information you know so that you don't end up putting your money in a wrong investment i was um Speaking with one of my clients, uh, I respect her so much. I call her mommy. And you know, she bought an investment that you know has tied down her money. And you know, she wants to sell, but the truth is, you know, you cannot recommend there are certain um in a uh, real estate investment that you cannot recommend, you know, even to your enemy, you know. So, you know, when you don't get enough information those are the type of things that happen your money will be tied down 
and it's supposed to be a short-term investment so if you're making a short-term investment there are so many things to consider before you know putting your money in a short-term investment you have to the location must be perfect the you know the neighborhood the neighborhood must be perfect like one of my clients told me that ah, he was supposed to buy a land in uh, somewhere around Maryland, Mende area. But, you know, the setting was, you know, it was a kind of mixed setting. And for if he puts the kind of property he wants to put there, it's just like living like you know we are the only king in that environment so it's not just about the location you know what is you know the the serenity the neighborhood the aesthetics of the you know the environment also counts when you're making a real estate investment thank you homeland africa for joining us we are just running up so i'm taking questions um now so if you have any questions please let's have your questions okay and so if there are no questions um you can drop the questions on the uh, what's it called on the post because i'm going to put this on uh, share it on my ig i'm also going to post it on my youtube so for my youtubers who didn't join us live here you can always um drop your questions and, and we will be glad to answer every one of your questions and so thank you all for joining me this evening with the real estate uh, matters with lady billionaire realtor remember to join us next Tuesday 7 p.m. for Real Estate Matters with the Lady Billionaire also. Thank you all. And please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on all our social media platforms. Contact us for your real estate investment. Integrity is our currency. That is our mantra. We put all the cards on the table. We tell you how it is. And we do not compromise uh, we don't not, we don't hold back information we tell you you know how it is so that you can make an informed decision we are not selfish you know we give you the right information and we recommend the best we work with the best real estate partners we have you know worked with them over the years and they delivered on their word our clients who have you know invested in this companies they are happy with their investment and so we would love to work with you if you have not started working with us okay so thank you all for joining me this evening and please keep staying safe bye bye